why don't everybody just come around and, and you can see the Luban running here. Next question. Yeah, sure. I'm wondering, are there any other companies using this? Boswellia Sacra. This is recognized from biblical times, 4,000 years BC, to be the most powerful tree, the most health benefit tree in all the Boswellia or frankincense species worldwide. There are 17 different Boswellia trees, some grown in India, some grown in Kenya, Nairobi, Somalia, Eritrea, Djibouti, Sudan, Yemen, but only the Sacra grows here. Now, back a thousand years B.C., Queen of Sheba's caravan took starts of the Sacra to Jerusalem, to King Solomon. They were planted in the Jordan Valley, east of the Dead Sea, and some were propagated on the terraces on the west bank of the Dead Sea. There were a couple of frankincense trees that survived up till 1927 that were from the Boswellia sacra species. They are all dead now, but the Boswellia sacra is and has been since the beginning of time prized as the greatest oil, the greatest resin, the most expensive resin of all the frankincense. And now we know through research why, because it has the highest anti-cancer properties, it has the highest antidepressant properties, the highest immune stimulating properties, fabulous, fabulous, the number one best resin. Wow. Isn't that exciting? Wow, Gary, I've got some of this off the tree and I've been chewing on it and it kind of sticks to my teeth. <laughs> yeah. But I feel so good chewing it. Now, is it good for me? <laughs> of course it is. It's also good for kids because it shuts them up. Oh my God. <laughs> Fix their teeth together. <laughs> no, well, I won't talk as much. <laughs> <laughs> the, the resin in ancient times, the people chewed the resin all the time because. Uh -huh. The frankincense resin, when chewed, suppresses the appetite. It also is a direct stimulant to the immune system. It is one of the most magical things that you could put in your mouth. I feel good chewing yeah. it. And it, it does. It'll energize you because the alpha and beta pinings in there is going to energize you. Yeah. Okay. It's a direct stimulant to the pineal pituitary gland. Well, thank you very uh, much. You betcha. Gary, how much resin can you get off of this tree? Well, each tree, naturally because of the age and the size of the tree and location, will vary in the amount of resin produced. But the average tree in a season can produce up to 12 kilos of resin. How much oil does that make? How many bottles? Um, be? The production from the Boswellia sacra, which we've found in distilling sacra and papyrifia and feriana, cartary, sacra will produce about 9.0% oil to the resin. So it's, it's a high yield, and but the work of getting it, you know, the time it takes, the labor, and of course, knowing what labor is today, they just keep pushing the price up. Because the biggest issue we have in Oman is it's a wealthy country, and people don't need work. And so generally, it's foreigners that come in from other nations in Arabia, like Yemen or Somalia, that don't have work that will come and do the gathering of the resin. Isn't that beautiful how it's oh, running? I love it. Yeah. I have to see this. Gary, I have a question. It's been said that dur during the time that Christ lived on the earth, that frankincense was so expensive that it was traded on the then known market like you would barter gold and silver. Do you foresee that the price of frankincense could become more expensive in today's world like it was in the ancient times? Uh, Terry, that's a good question. And if we just look at the circumstances as they are today, we would have to say, mm, probably not. But knowing what is developing out of research, and knowing as Young Living is growing and spreading the truth of essential oils and the value of it, the demand is going up. We're growing at 30% a month, for crying out loud. We've got to have more trees. Because if we do what has been traditionally done and continue tapping these trees, we're going to contribute to killing off the trees. That's why part of our project here in Oman is reforestation. And why with our little farm near Salala, 
that we're doing the research in growing the trees to see what's the best conditions for growing and also maintaining that genetic Boswellia sacra strain that is the ancient genetic strain of Frankenstein. Because it takes seven years to grow a tree to where we can start to harvest. I don't want to harvest a new tree twice a year. I would, when we start, I'd like to harvest a tree maybe once every other year until it's 15, 16 years old, and then it could go every year. Because that way the tree will continue to get stronger and it will reproduce. And we want our trees reproducing. It's really, really critical. And that's why we're working with the government and why the government is so excited that Young Living has come to Oman to develop this research project. We're the first company in the world to come and do what we're doing. We're the first country company to ever come to a country and work with the government in conjunction in research to bring back trees that are becoming extinct. Yes. And that's, that's something exciting. that Young Living only is doing and something yeah. Young Living, all of you, can be extremely proud of. Yeah. And, and we are. And you, yeah. you know that. So it is really something to be excited about, something to be proud of. But yes, we're looking by this time next year of planting over 50,000 frankincense trees. Wow. And Ooh, so we're, we're growing and growing and growing. And the government has allocated now over 100,000 acres for us to plant frankincense wow. trees on. And the Sultan Kabuch University is growing and providing the starts. So Young Living can do that. Young Living is carrying the mantle for the world. Brianna. Gabriella. I have a question, Gary. I get asked a lot at home. Uh, people want to know which frankincense oil is coming from Oman. What is the type of frankincense oil that's really produced here? Oh, excellent. That's just a really a, a good question <laughs> I like. Because there are statements made around the United States and now out in other markets that Periana comes from Oman and it's just one of those lies that's been perpetrated by people that have never been here and don't know the difference. There is only one kind of oil that comes from Oman and that's Boswellia sacra which the common name is sacred. Sacra means sacred. Young Living was the first company in the world and the first company to ever distill frankincense oil in Oman since 2,000 years ago perhaps. So wow. where do the other ones come from? Periana comes from Somalia. It comes, there's, it grows some in Ethiopia, but the majority of the production of Periana comes from Somalia. Yeah, you can buy Periana here in Oman, but it's shipped from Somalia to Yemen and then transported to the marketplace here in Salala. You can buy papyrifia here in Salala that's shipped here from Ethiopia because that's where papyrifia grows. You can buy cartary here in the market because it's shipped here from Somalia. So all of these resins are present. Negalecta comes from southern Ethiopia. But only the sacra has been found through research and studies to contain the properties that are really healing. Cartary is very similar. In fact, I believe that cartary is just a subspecies of sacra because the trees were planted there, the soil is different, the climate is different. The cartary trees grow on the north face of the country of Somalia facing the north shore and the monsoons go mostly north, once in a while south, but they don't have the same atmospheric saturation from the monsoons as the trees here in Oman. And history, science has always stated in research that frankincense trees that are close to the ocean that receive the monsoon air produce the richest resin. And that's Boswellia sacra. Feriana doesn't even grow on the monsoon side in Somalia. Wow. Thank you for that. Wow. You betcha. Wow. Interesting.